The overall goal of this materials processing method is to create and preserve nanostructured ceramics at typical sintering temperatures by carbon templating hybrid materials in situ. This method can help answer key questions in the materials engineering and processing field, such as how to control ceramic nanostructures at conditions far from equilibrium. The main advantage of this technique is that it generates ceramic materials with 80 times more surface area than traditional techniques. Though this method can provide insight into yttrium stabilized zirconia nanostructures, it can also be applied to essentially any mixed metal oxide material. First, add a 25 mm magnetic stir bar and 113 milliliters of deionized water to a 500 milliliter beaker. Stir the deionized water at the highest rate that does not form a vortex. Slowly add 13.05 grams of anhydrous zirconium chloride to the deionized water in small increments. After all of the zirconium chloride has dissolved, add 53.29 grams of glucose to the solution. After all of the glucose has dissolved, add 3.73 grams of yttrium nitrate hexahydrate to the solution. Increase the rate of stirring to approximately 700 RPM and wait for all of the solid to dissolve in solution. Following this, add 42 milliliters of propylene oxide to the solution. Once the solution is sufficiently mixed, decrease the stirring to approximately 150 RPM. Continue stirring until the magnetic stir bar has stopped moving due to gel formation. Then, tightly cover the beaker containing the gel with parafilm. After allowing the gel to age for 24 hours, remove the parafilm from the beaker and decant the liquid.